So, after a year of sitting in the sun, what does she look like? She looks like she's been sitting in the sun for a year. Oh, blimey. We will be doing some more uh, varnishing. Great. Oh, where are you looking? Yeah, look that one. We'll definitely be having to do some more varnishing, I'm afraid. That did not stand up so well, but I didn't really get enough coats on. Deck brush is rusted right through. Quality. Yes, that's all right. How about back here? Yeah. Filthy. And in need of varnish. Oh boy, work to do. Oh, I even left the ashtray. <laughs> hey, welcome to 2021 sailing season. Finally. So, after a week in uh, the marina, lots of jobs and a lot of clean up of the boat, which we had suffered from a year in the sun. Probably too much wind noise. Um, we're off. Only a short trip up the coast to Mariana Nova for a haul out because the hull needs a new anti foul. It probably needed it last year, but uh, it sat for a year and the Great Barrier Reef falling over. The Great Barrier Reef grew on the bottom of my boat. Excuse all my dodgy lines here. But uh, we're in 10 knots of wind with full main and the momentum, I tell you that's perfectly named, asymmetric spinnaker. I'm making five knots on a beamish reach. So uh, I'm very happy with that because the engine, I think I need to change the impeller. The, the water alarm, or the alarm rather, doesn't go off, but it starts to squeak. He goes, beep, 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 beep. And it's kind of like, uh, I want to tell you something, but uh, don't really want to hear it. So it's, uh, I think I need a new impeller up there. There's plenty of water coming out of the exhaust, which is what's making me wonder about it but uh, I could probably pull that main in a little bit I don't know no I will leave it look at the aerodynamic profile broken up by all the <laughs> lines lashed to it oh what a mess still doesn't matter it's this one that's making all the power and we're bombing along I'm uh, I'm very much out of practice so I'm glad I'm just doing a short sail today my short sail for me is uh, about six hours I think just under 30 miles up the coast to get my hand in again um, yeah because it's all a little bit uh, unfamiliar there's one or two things that I've noticed that probably need a dressing as well but we'll come to that oh look I fitted clutches one on that side one on that side so that uh, the main halyard and the Genoa halyard don't have to sit on the winch all the time so I've got the winches freed up now for other things so that was nice I used rib nuts 
Well, there didn't seem to be enough depth of material just to tap into the mast, so I used rib nuts in there. Um, I've done some electrical work downstairs, put the USB chargers in more convenient places, and uh, moved the fuse, the fuse box as well. The boat really suffered, but I've managed to get a couple of coats of varnish on the tow rail anyway. <laughs> still got the still got the masking tape on, yay! But uh, she's going to be um, hauled out tomorrow, three days uh, on the hard um, for them to do the anti-fouling at a ridiculous price. But it's the only thing I could book. There's nothing else available, um, and I'm going to stay in a hotel for three nights. Bloody luxury after a week already on the boat. It's nice out here, the temperature is I guess about 26, 28. Of course you're in direct sunlight which is not much fun when the sun is very strong. Even my now faded solar panels are uh, all the coping with all of the loads. Even though they're filthy and connections are corroded. I've got a new one, it's hiding underneath, I'm not using it yet. Uh, what am I saying? Oh yeah, it's so fucking hot. Swearing immediately. Demonetized, but not that any of my videos are monetized anyway. I'll put some nice music in now that I've sworn. Um, yeah, it's bloody hot in the marina. So it'll be nice to be in a hotel for a couple of days, even with all the COVID bollocks that goes with it. And um, I will insert some video of the just how bad the hull was. That's Spain over there. Um, and me scraping it. But in the process of scraping it, I think I caught fish flu. Because I've been sick as a dog for four days. symptoms which has not made working and moving around and everything much fun but you know I think I'm getting over it a bit now I'm still a bit nasal I'm always a bit nasal oh, there we go yeah lots of other things to say but not today we're going up there I think those tankers are at anchor there's a big uh, port, you can't see it because of the sail. There's a big port over there, maybe if I kneel down. Over there, you see. So, uh, yeah, Sangu, yeah, I forget the name. We gotta go past that. And actually then, hang a left to go into Mariana Nova. No sea life. A few boats around. I didn't keep a very good look out on the way out. I was pissing around with lots of little things, but uh, it'll get better. Nice to be sailing again. Look, so true wind speed 11 knots now. It's up a little bit. True wind angle is here. Apparent wind angle is here. Um, it's just forward of the beam. Boat speed 5.3 knots, you see? How nice is that? 
Lovely. So this marker is the uh, northwestern end of a massive fish farm. Was banging my way. And uh, so I've been going a bit deep. But now we're going to come up a little bit and I think we're probably going to be over canvas because the wind's up to about 13 knots now. We'll see. We might have to drop the momentum. The tiller's getting quite heavy. Might have to drop the momentum and put the Genoa back. Oh. Well, we're still sailing, day one. Day one, it's the delivery. Really. To uh, Burianova, which is one hour away, about four and a half, four point eight. Miles ahead of me, <coughs> the winds drop now to about eight knots, so I'm just about making four knots over the ground. The Spanish coast is still over there. A long way back there to uh, kind of in Sea Valencia. Yeah. It's a long way down. there they left Valencia while I was still on the fuel dock it's a nice looking uh, old not that old uh, it's a double ender with kind of um, hard dodger stroke pilot house obviously made for cruising not made for speed though because uh, I've been catching them up all day and I'm gonna overtake them not that it's a race, except that whenever there are two yachts in visual sight of each other, it's always a race. But yeah, she's uh, she must be at least 35 foot, I would say. She's bigger than me, a lot bigger than me. But not quite the same racing heritage, I guess. 1960s racing heritage. I've, uh, <laughs> today's been a learning experience again because uh, I've kind of forgotten how to trim the sails, get things working and forgotten a good way to get the um, asymmetric spinnaker down when it blows up. So the annoying thing is the wind got up a little bit to about 14 to 15 knots and it uh, backed. So I was, uh, I was in, I don't know, 70 degrees apparent, 70 to 80 degrees apparent. And it doesn't, it, well, it flies all right, but I didn't have it rigged properly for going upwind. You need to have the leech a lot tighter than I had it. And that's almost impossible to adjust when there's pressure in it. And, uh, and, and it makes the boat a bit um, weather helmy when it gets to, those winds and those speeds and angles so I brought it down and of course as soon as I brought the sail down the wind dropped I brought it down in a not very elegant fashion so I'll, have to, I'll have to practice that a few more times no one got hurt though so and nothing went over the side well there we go